Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Star Wars Fallen Republic. So we are on the final approach to build the Death Star. As we can see here, it uh, is just getting the finishing touches now, and then it will be complete. And then we'll move for our first target, which will be Alderaan, uh, which has a hell of a lot of uh, trade value here, 183.14. Not entirely sure if they're actually getting all of that trade value, but it's still a lot. We're also trying to defend ourselves against the encroachment of the Rebels. Uh, their fleets have definitely made a lot of progress. Not so much their ground forces, which is good, because, yeah, I don't need their ground forces coming to attack us. Because that just makes things even more... Uh, difficult for completed. us to make progress on. Research completed. Hyperdrive boosters, ion cannons. Let's do the ion cannons. All right, good. We've caught their transport fleet. We even have a no. We don't have an interdictor here. That's unfortunate. Let's work on some interdictors. Well, we need Lancer frigates, first off. The Velox class frigates. Is that that weird looking Star Destroyer kind of thing? Hold, I gotta look at this. There's the Kantos. So the Velox kind of looks like a Star Destroyer. Um interesting not quite sure what else to say about it all right where is let's see interdictors where be you there we are And I could go for some victories. Let's see. Uh, let's do it just to see how they perform. All right, so Rahemsa has been cleared out. Let's go clear out going towards Corellia so Corellia can start to rebuild their fleet. And then everything else they can kind of just do on their own, or they should be able to anyways. This star, we're about a little less than 200 days away from being completed. We'll heal up our second group Research completed. before continuing to move on. Mergoshir, oh, 59.6k. That is going to hurt. Trying to take that on. Maintenance but if we can take Murgosh here, that will be a uh, a good step in the right direction. Look at all of those torpedo launchers. It'll be very nice if the Seatric Hegemony will actually start to uh, do some stuff for us. If I give them, let's see. I mean, for one, we'll go for favors, because obviously. Two, let's get some alloys. We'll give them 10,000 alloys, and we'll give them hyperfuel as well. Hmm. 
And that's pretty much all that we can get. Nothing else really that we'll be able to do, so we'll just do that. Go for the fuel production case. Ugh, having to fight old allied ship, or uh, not shipyards, but uh, stations because of their failings. Permission granted to land on platform 327. Failings of our allies and all that. You're almost there. It is really nice seeing the array of Star Destroyers along the horizon there. Both as an impregnable fortress and a symbol of the Emperor's invi inviolable, inviolable rule. The Deep Space Mobile Battle Station is an achievement comparable to the creation of the first hyperdrive, a super weapon capable of annihilating an entire planet in a single blast. Fear of the Death Star will be enough to keep any would-be usurpers in line. The ultimate power in the universe. Alright, let's go check out the Death Star here. Now is it merely a Colossus or does it actually have some fighting ability? It appears to just be a Colossus, which is kind of disappointing a little bit. What's its stats? Uh, 140,000 hit points, 157,000 armor, 250,000 shields. And that's really about it. Alright, Krilla, you've been freed up. Don't fall apart this time. Research completed. Let's bring the Death Star over to Rahemsa. And then we can prepare to move for the kill. Um, I'm not entirely sure. So I know like previous mods have had uh, ships with super lasers, but I don't know if it's possible to have a Death Star that acts as both a battleship as well as a Colossus. In my head, thinking about it, I would think it's possible. Because I don't think there's really a whole lot that would get in the way of doing that. But I'm not entirely sure. Alright, Corellia, let's give you a little boost. Because you kind of need it too. So, resources, favors, let's get some favors from you. Alloys, we'll give you 10,000. And hyperfuel. We're going to need maintenance after this. We'll give 5,000. Really is loyal, right? Okay, now they're loyal. We're going to need maintenance after this. Yeah, favorable trade deal plus 100. So they like that. Alright, let's move for Mergushir. This is gonna probably hurt. You know, I'm not entirely sure what the... Fallen Republic team is necessarily looking to do uh, in the future of, of the game. 
I know they want to add more like portraits and more playable factions. Uh, I think that's one reason why some of the playable factions haven't been available yet, just because they don't have portraits for them. At least that's you know the uh, the word that I saw on their Discord the other day. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely interested in what they want to do with the mod. Um, you know what other crises we may see. Eh, do the Tide Defender. Also, this may just be me, but I think this mod does probably play best around the fast speed. Uh, especially for battles. Because it seems like normal goes a little too slow, just, just a little bit. Definitely losing ships in this fight. Uh, Allegiance, are you in range? Fire you fools! Okay, now they're starting to fire. Oh no! Who died? Oh, one of my scientists. Progress, progress. There we go. Alright. Uh, not as bad as it could have been. We did lose a few Star Destroyers in the first Unknown Fleet, which is disappointing. But it is what it is. Alright, Death Star, we're going to set you up as Group 5. Group 1 will follow behind. We, we definitely need to make sure that we defend it. We'll head for Fidel next and Cantel. Ugh, I'm gonna need probably more forces there. Kuat, are you done with this little fleet here? Uh, pretty much. Let's see, 271, we have 120 available. We did build, we have one interdictor here. Let's build another interdictor. Mm, let's build some Lancer frigates. A few broadsides. And then we'll see what it looks like after that. Alright, down to about the last two of the things we can get. Um, if I want Mastery of Nature, that's kind of nice. Because then I can do Gaia Planets. Or I could just outright focus on damage. The Imperial Way would be the focusing on damage and all that. Don't really need anything for industry. Yeah, let's focus on damage. Death Star, you're so slow. Alright. 
Group 2, you're all healed up. So let's continue taking over. Research completed. The only thing I'm a little concerned about, now that we've taken out the Dantooine station, they may really start to focus over at Tapasi. Oh, the Tanab Authority is moving in some stuff. fully solve my issue. I was thinking of going to the Maelstrom and just building up uh, Shipyard and then all that other stuff. Only problem is one, well, there's nothing around here to build a Shipyard on, so that kind of sucks. But two, um, I still can't build Research completed. ground forces. No, the Ryloth took it, those bastards. Well, now I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess I can just bring them out of there. Yeah, let's just bring Group 4 out of there. Is that too much more that I can do right now? Uh, hopefully the trek will be safe going back up here. Ninety-six more days, and this fleet should be all ready to go. You know, they're already just a little short of 80,000, so with this they'll be even, you know, more powerful. Production base. Let's go for that, because that helps out. And honestly, I could probably do a refinery base there as well. Also, I've totally been just leaving this stuff behind. We got Imperial Confiscation, uh, targets the Empire's ship build time, while reducing our own. Sure. Who are we targeting here? Don't really need to target the Rebels now, I don't think. Although it would be a good thing to do. Let them feel the might of the Empire. Oh, 
Oh, you can't destroy a gas giant's boo. Boo, I say. Although maybe that's why the Empire couldn't just do what um, is shown in how it should have ended uh, with A New Hope. Where they just destroy Yavin and then go to destroy Yavin 4. Maybe the Empire can't destroy a gas giant. Because it's just not... Um, I don't know if stable is the right word. I don't know what the right word is, but... Research completed. Search completed. Tide defenders are complete now. Uh, let's do this core of engineers. Especially that upgrade so speed for star bases is pretty nice. Transport en route. All right. What other claims do we need to help press? Unclaimed. I could have sworn that was claimed, unless they did some weird stuff, which is possible. You guys are all ready to go. So we'll put you as group six. I have a million. Million groups of ships here. Got 97.3k. That's not bad at all. For your request, our ships have been retrofitted. And that should be enough to take on the station. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. All right, so we've taken all of this. Or at least, you know, partially occupied all of this. Since we need the uh, sea trick to actually get their stuff going. Death Star is beginning its approach. We have a place to check out here. Uh, all the way down here. I'll just build a sec, a second, uh, or a separate science ship. Constructing. Let's check out Vindalia there. Permission granted to land on platform three seven. On the way. Research completed. Ooh, battle cruiser specialization. Ah, uh, yes. Just like before, we'll focus on uh, providing a boost to our ship hulls and all that. You know, imperial ships should be powerful. Alright, let's see how this Titan Cruiser does in battle.
I just realized the uh, Titan has really large hangers here. Is that a Golan defense platform over here? It is. Look at all of those torpedoes launching from the station. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Enhanced hull. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Clone vets. Well, there goes the Golan defense platform. Okay, this uh, station is definitely holding up better than some of the other ones. No, we lost the Titan! Bastards! Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Kuat, do you have any... you know what, Kuat, I'm going to give you, uh... some stuff to build. Unless I already have it. Let's see. Heavy Vehicle Factory. We need that. Oh, I guess I haven't done the Battle Droid research stuff yet. I thought I did, but apparently not. For those who don't know, there's like an event that you can get that lets you research battle droids. And it also lets you build a building that improves the quality of uh, troops as well. Specifically the, the uh, starfighters. Alright, a simple station over at Alderaan shouldn't be much to deal with. Let's get the Death Star heading over there. Is Alderaan the only planet here? There's Delea as well. I think we'll destroy both just to take the whole system. Give a good demonstration. We're going to need maintenance after this. Oh no, our little fleets that had the good transports. Run away, good transports, run away. And the little fleets, well, they're going to perish. Oh, you know, I cleaned up Corellia, and it was all good. Where the hell did they even come from? They have some of this stuff down here. And over here, too. Oh. Well, Fondor, let's get you started on stuff. Do a Titan. Two. Uh, let's do three Imperial Twos. Four broadsides. Six Lancers and two Interdictors. Mm -hmm. 
we hit Alderaan without having to deal with the station, we might just be able to. Alright, you guys go for the station. We're gonna follow the Death Star in. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Oh. Clone armies. I was like, hmm, it seems like it's going awfully slow here. Oh wait, the Death Star does have some manner of attack, because it has strike craft that it's able to send out. Okay. But does it have an actual attack? Uh, the times that I've seen it... Well, actually that's the first time I've seen it in battle, so... Show us. Trying to view this correctly. Okay. We'll do the view of the destruction of Alderaan like this. It's got a tiny little laser. Oh my goodness. Cause it's, it's, you probably can't even see it in the video, but it's like tiny, like right around here. Hopefully it becomes more impressive as we get closer to the destruction. Almost at a hundred percent. Almost there. <laughs> the anticipation is palpable. We're going to need maintenance after this. Such a tiny little Research laser, completed. causing such destruction. Oh, so it goes from charging weapon to firing weapon. Okay. The regular Colossi the might do that too, but... Kablamo. The Death Star One's gentle rocking, buffeted by Alderaan's rupturing crust, an unraveling magnetosphere, subsides as the Death Star One completes its cataclysmic ca task. The sheer violence of a dying planet is difficult to comprehend, but the funeral beauty. Funereal? Or funeral? Beauty of Alderaan's molten core cooling in gelid space is undeniable. Look at that, 12 minerals there. Can we get 12 minerals from uh, Delea as well? Let's go find out. Is... 
Also, Verpine, you are becoming annoying. So the destruction of a world, does that add any extra to war exhaustion? Uh, destruction? Planet destruction, war exhaustion. Okay, it does. So once Delea is destroyed, we will end the episode for today. Uh, but we've definitely made good progress end the war with the rebellion. Ooh, this is gonna hurt trying to take this place. Why did I set up such good defenses? <laughs> Although in fairness, even though there's good defenses, uh, yeah, they're not doing very well with them. Let's do rapid deployment. Oh wait, didn't, didn't I set this to no retreat at some point? I think I did back when I had Tarkin and all that. Um, Cause you know, that was kind of the Tarkin doctrine, no retreats and all of that. But uh, apparently they decided they wanted to go defense in depth, which honestly does nothing to help me. How's the Death Star coming along? Oh god. Oh, I didn't even get to watch it. I was away! I was away! But you actually get more minerals from Delaya. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright folks, so that is going to be it here for today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to leave a little like for the destruction of planets and all that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think my strategy should be. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think this episode is going up on Friday, so there will be a couple days in between where I decide um, what my strategy should be for taking on the Rebels. Should I focus on using the Death Star to destroy a bunch of worlds? Or should I just do ground invasions and all that? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.